Anyways, so what else are we gonna do in here? We're gonna paint an accent wall. And we're also gonna repaint. Oh, she needs to be repainted. I forgot her name. I don't know. Tara Delevingne. She needs it. <laughs> anyway, we're getting rid of that table. We're gonna get rid of that table too. We're putting shelves up over there, like a bar cart above, and then like a little like welcome entry little. Yeah, because we don't have here. enough room for an entry table. And then this is just like obviously too wide for the space. And I think that it'll open the space up and make it look longer because it'll draw your eye this way. Alrighty, I think that's it. city and trying to be crafty you literally have to carry everything on the subway we're gonna put the dining table right there and we're gonna repaint this painting we're gonna move these plants around my nails look disgusting we got this star that we're gonna spray paint gold for the top of the tree we just bought we got these champagne colored ornaments um and then we got a bunch of wood which we're going to make floating shelves for right there and then we're going to build our mantle for the fireplace the holes right here on the mantle are 13 inches apart from the center of the holes so i marked from the center of the 25 inch piece of wood I marked the 13 inches so I know to drill my holes there and then I'm going to put these smaller blocks over here three inches in from the end um, and I'm just going to drill two screws there on each end to hold that up and then drill this into the mantle um, into the brick <laughs> So these two pieces are 47 inches. They're one by fives. And the piece underneath is one, another one by five that is 49 inches instead. And the reason why it's two inches longer is to account for these two end pieces. So the idea is to make a little box like this and we're gonna screw that together and then this is the 25 inch piece that gets screwed up to the mantle like that into these drywall anchors. And then this piece is gonna slide into it like that. And we're going to screw down, once we slide it on, we're gonna screw down from the top to secure it to this piece. Okay, so we put the mantle together, screwed everything in. So now we just have to screw in this piece into the wall and then we can slide this baby on. We're gonna paint the mantle now. We're gonna paint it white, and then once it's done drying, and we're gonna do the clear coat, and then we can screw it onto the mantle and be done.
Benita, 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 I. My bangs are not banging anymore. <laughs> Anyways, we are about to put up the floating <laughs> We're about to put up the floating shelves. We screwed in the L brackets to the shelves. We kind of bought the wrong size L bracket, so it's like there's a little bit of a gap, but like- I kinda like it. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it. I think it looks fine. Um, so we're gonna measure and make sure everything is level and put up the shelves and we'll be done. Wait a minute, hold on. Our holes got fucked up. You can literally see into our wall now. Um, <laughs> we are going to, we're gonna figure this out. That's what we're gonna do. So, as you saw in the last clip, we totally messed up. For whatever reason, the drywall anchors that were in there just fell right through the wall and made this huge hole, which is great. So now we have to patch those up and then we're gonna drill new holes. Oh, look who it is. Oh, oh. Update, smaller, smaller, what do you call these? Drywall anchors. Smaller drywall anchors because the other ones we have are huge which is why they made those big ass holes in the wall. But these ones are smaller. We drilled new holes. So this is the size of the hole originally. And this is how big those drywall anchors made it. But um, we drilled new holes and then we're gonna use these smaller drywall anchors because that makes way more sense. This one we're gonna do, we're gonna repaint that white because it's all cracked. And then the pink, we're gonna do a tan color. And then the blue, we're gonna do a chocolate brown, like a warm chocolate color. And then we painted this one white. So we're gonna paint over it some, some of our own artistic designs. Hey guys, so welcome to day whatever of redoing our apartment. Um, so yesterday we put up these floating shelves right over here, super cute. The top one we're gonna keep alcohol on and the bottom one is kind of like an entryway. We put our keys there, got a plant, a couple candles, cute. Um, and then we also painted this baby right here. Originally it was blue with like the skyline of New York City, but we painted it white. And then we used actually the paint samples that we got for the apartment. We used that to paint this canvas because we like the colors and you know, we figure might as well tie in the same colors instead of trying to like recreate them with acrylic paint. So that's done. The next thing we need to do is paint this table white. 
Um, the table is nice and it matches with our colors because we do have blue in our rug, but we just feel like since the table is behind the chair, it's not really serving as a decorative element anymore. It's really just for function because we have essential oils in here and like some candles and stuff like that. We just use this for storage and I'm just gonna paint it white so that it can kind of blend in a little bit more with the wall and not stand out so much because it is such a dark navy blue. The next thing we need to do is paint um, this wall right here behind the TV. We're gonna do uh, this color here, that green. That's what we're gonna use to paint here. We're gonna do like an arch um, behind the TV because we wanted to put some sort of art there, but we didn't wanna do another canvas. So we're gonna try painting a little arch and hopefully it looks really cute. Um, tomorrow we're getting the dining table. So we're gonna set that up and the dining table is gonna go here. And then we're going to move the Christmas tree over there and then move this plant over there. <laughs> um, this painting, we're gonna be repainting tonight because the colors don't really go with our theme anymore. So we're gonna paint the blue, uh, like chocolate brown color. And then the parts that are pink, we're gonna do a tan color. And then we're gonna go over the black and white to make them look a little bit cleaner because this canvas is kind of messed up and you can see that there's like cracking on the paint and there's also a couple holes that I wanna fix up. So we're gonna do that today. Anyways, I'm gonna go paint that table and tape off behind the TV and then we're gonna get started. The wall has been taped off and it looks really good. I'm surprised I got it like as even as I did um, the first try. painting I did like three coats which was the perfect amount because look at this empty so if you guys are trying to paint a small section of your wall like this and you want to just get a sample save yourself some money that will definitely work oh that is crisp package is finally here our dining table and the chairs are downstairs so i'm going to pick up the box um but i'm super excited because the apartment is coming along really nicely we got the painting i painted the wall yesterday i also painted that table and we're gonna set up the table here move the christmas tree over there Ooh, we also painted this yesterday and it looks so good it looks so much better than how I did with the blue and the pink. So I'm really excited for this space to come along. Oh my God, here they are. I'm so out of breath. I just carried these up the stairs. But regardless, here are the table and chairs um john's literally gonna be home in like two minutes so we're gonna put them together which i'm not gonna record because who wants to see two people struggle to put furniture together nobody here's what the table looks like set up and it literally is so cute especially with the painting and the plants, I love it.
So starting at our front door, here are the floating shelves that we put up. And then over here, here is the mirror and our two plants. We switched the plants. We used to have um, this plant, that one. We used to have that one over here, but we switched them. So here's that. And then we have the little reclining chair with a lamp on that marble side table. And behind it, we have the blue end table that I painted white. And we have some plants back here, super cute. Getting some sunlight in the morning. And then here we have a little, I think these are called like paper whites. We got them from Trader Joe's for like, what, a, it was like $2. Oh, and then we made a snowman. <laughs> Um, our freaking fire escape. Um, and then here we have our curtains, floor to ceiling, basically. Um, oh, also the painting that we did. Super cute. I love that painting. Um, and then we have the little arch. I'm going to just say arch because that's what I've heard people say. Because <laughs> I know that I've been saying arch or arc. But here's what it looks like. And then we have a little basket under there with blankets and throw pillows. And then this little amber like vase thing, boss. And then we have our heater because um, it's getting pretty chilly. And we, I think we have a draft in one of the windows. And then here's another plant right there. And the dining table, which looks gorgeous. It's so freaking cute. I love it. And it fits perfectly in this little nook. And we've had people over and they sat at the table with us and it was super cute. Um, and here's our painting that we did. We repainted it and it looks so much better. And then by the fireplace, um, we have this little marble, or it's not marble actually, I think it's just like a tile maybe, side table with our plant on it. She's so cute. Um, we just have that there for the time being. And then we have a bar stool back there because we don't know what to do with it yet, but the Christmas tree kind of blocks it, so it's okay for now. And then the mantle, we bought a little um, centerpiece for the table, but we put on the mantle because we thought it looked better there. And then we have like a little stone right there. And then the beautiful Christmas tree. Um, and then our rug, couch, table. And then we reorganized the closet, actually. It still looks kind of crazy, but it's way better than before, and it's a lot more accessible now. But once we, you know, fully settle in, we'll find a way to organize it. Maybe get some cubbies. I don't know. Put up shelves. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like right now. Here's what the bathroom looks like. So we put up this curtain that we had originally in our living room. It fit perfectly. So we put it here as our shower curtain. And then we have a liner on the inside. And then we have these hand towels. We're not really going to do anything in the bathroom because there's not that much to do. Um, we have this beautiful soap dispenser as well. Like, it's pretty cute in here. Um, I made this little painting and I put that there. That's been in like three bathrooms now. It's, it's moved with me. Um, and then we have a rug finally. So, yeah.